thank you for tuning in. I'm Helen, I'm a family photographer and a Canon ambassador. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about shooting with one camera and one lens. How by limiting our equipment, we can push ourselves creatively and create images we might never have thought of before. Sometimes as photographers, there can be a tendency to give ourselves too many options. And then we spend all our time choosing between them rather than concentrating on getting the shots. Equipment's exciting, lenses are fun. It's nice to have lots of options. I can be as guilty of this as the next person and I often pack far more lenses than I need when I'm heading out on a shoot. But instead, if we limit ourselves, we have to think through a situation more. We have to think about how to use our tools in different ways. Personally, I'm a huge prime lens fan. My usual equipment is two Canon 1DX Mark IIs with an EF 85mm f1.4 L lens on one and an EF 35mm f1.4 L Mark II lens on the other or an EOS R with either the RF50 or the RF35. I find that with zooms, I can sometimes get a little bit lazy, a little bit complacent. I might stand in one place and just tweak the focal length rather than really moving around and looking for the best angle for a shot. Using primes feels more instinctive to me. I know the angle of view, so I pick up the right camera for the job. It's very personal though, I know a lot of photographers love zooms and there's never a right or wrong to anybody's camera or lens choice. So I probably shoot with the 85mm lens about 70% of the time, I absolutely love it. However, if I look at my best work, then probably about 50% is shot under 35mm. So why is that? I think it might be because it's a bit trickier to use, I have to think more and so the resulting images are more unusual. The 85 is a dream, I love it, but it's easy to fire off lots of beautiful headshots. The 35 requires more thought to make clear, dramatic images. So recently I decided to do a few shoots just on the 35mm f1.4. I wanted to limit myself technically and see how I coped with a whole session on a single focal length. I thought it would be hard, I thought it would be really restrictive, but I actually found it very liberating to work with one camera and one lens. I love the 35mm focal length, it's the only lens that I have in both the EF and the RF formats and I'll take both with me on shoot so I have flexibility to use it depending on which camera system I'm using. For this shoot though, I decided to use the Canon 1DX Mark II and the EF35 f1.4 L Mark II lens. So we spent the day between the family's small London flat and their local park and this is very standard for me when I'm working. I often do half my session inside and half outdoors. The 35 is the perfect storytelling lens. It's so versatile, especially if you're working in a small space. I was able to come in close for portraits and then also pull back further for scene setting shots. Because often when I'm working, I'll swap between my lenses to get variety to my pictures. But without that possibility, I had to think a bit more. For example, when the little boy was having a story on the sofa, I started with something fairly standard and then I varied my height. I looked down on the scene and then I got in low to shoot details. It's easy to think that variety comes from just zooming in and out, but getting up high, shooting low, varying aperture to lead the eye to the important elements in the frame. These are all equally useful techniques. So when shooting a project like this, using a single focal length, it can often help to think in terms of stories. Sequences of images that you can show together as this encourages experimentation with composition and approach. Because if you look at 30 shots, which are all variations of the same close-up portrait, you know, it is easy to get a little bit bored. But if you tell a story, it will always keep the viewer interested. I shoot for albums. That's one of the main things I sell in my business. And this makes me very conscious to mix up portraits and storytelling images when I'm taking pictures. So let's look at a very short sequence, all obviously on the 35mm, and we were just walking to the playground, so it was unposed, just reacting to what happens in front of me, and that's how I take the majority of my pictures. So as we were walking, I realised that the dad was jumping as he carried his little boy along, so I ran forward to get a shot. I chose to shoot from the side to really show the jump, but I didn't think it would be as obvious in a shot taken from the front. I also wanted to show the environment of the park as it's a place that's very important to the family. I took a couple of pictures, then I ran in close for a tighter shot before running ahead for a final picture that included the mum. I wanted to tell the whole family story. Using one lens does mean you have to run around a lot, you have to zoom with your feet, but you know, it keeps us fit and it's much more fun than going to the gym. 
So I really like these shots, but as always, it's good to think of where we can improve. You know, if I'd been a bit lower shooting that first picture, I might have got more of a gap between the dad's feet and the ground, and this would have made the jump feel more dramatic. Now, I didn't have time to run forward, lie down, get the perfect angle, get back up again. But in a situation like this, the articulating screen of the EOS R would have been amazing. I could have held the camera low, used the touchscreen on the back to take the picture, and then been running in close for the close-up in seconds. So stories are all around us, and often it's just getting into the habit of looking outside the viewfinder. I know I can get lost in the moment, taking a shot, and not realising that sometimes if I pull back, then a different, and you know, maybe a funnier shot might be there for the taking. Practising with a single focal length also allows us the opportunity to get to know it better, to discover where it works at its best. You know, I love making use of the 35mm wide angle and incorporating leading lines to guide the eye around the image. So having spent a few days shooting solely with the 35mm, I feel more confident with the lens. I have a clear idea of its strengths, both for storytelling and also as a portrait lens. So now when I'm working fast in the day-to-day -day activity and mayhem of family shoots, I'm using the lens with more confidence and I'm getting better results. So I'd really recommend doing this. Have a try shooting with one camera and one lens. Set yourself a project, a day at 35mm or a day at 50 Start with shots you'd normally take and then push yourself. Shoot differently, step away from your subject for a wider view, step in closer for a detail. Tell the story in your images and see if it takes you anywhere new. So I hope you found this interesting and that it will inspire you to shoot outside your comfort zone. Do you have a try shooting with one camera and one lens? Use this opportunity to get to know your equipment better. Leave a comment here or drop me a message on Instagram. I'm at Helen Bartlett Photography. Do tag Canon Connected and Canon Europe on your pictures. We'd love to see your work. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.